Okay, that looks good. I want to add um, a little offset tab that's going to help latch the top cover into the bottom. And we're going to make the assumption that we do lots of these sheet metal covers in our company. And so what we do is we create what are called form tools to create this geometry. And this is any time that you would use sort of a, a, a punch type shape onto your sheet metal. And the punches are really just um, in your form tools design library folder, okay, and you can create embosses, lances. Most of these just come with the software as examples, and I've got a few custom ones here. And let me open this file just to show you that it's really nothing more than a solid model. You're going to model it up using standard techniques. There's a bit of additional information you add to it. We have a wizard that's going to help you get this thing set up properly. And it's, um, it's color-coded. Uh, mostly the red surfaces are the most important ones to pay attention to. These red surfaces actually instruct SolidWorks that that's void of material, so that's going to create a bit of a clearance. And then it's going to form the metal up and around this geometry here. So let's watch it in action. The way you use them is you just drag them from your library into your part file on whatever surface you want it applied. In this case, it's going to be um, on this one here. Okay. And then we pay attention to the preview. It's important. I'm going to flip it. All right. That's pretty good. You can rotate it right here as well. Easy to understand functions on the left here. If I click on position, I can add additional ones if I want just by adding additional points. Very much like the whole wizard, right? Should be familiar with that. Um, I'm going to actually pattern that with a uh, pattern tool, but I do want to put some dimensions in here. So here's where you locate it with dimensions in the uh, position function. Okay. All right, we'll finish that off. And you can see how much, uh, how easy it is to create uh, those types of forms. You just basically drag and drop them in and define where you want it located. Uh, the pattern is just, you know, your standard pattern tool. It works for sheet metal features as well as, um, uh, as it does with uh, your solid features. And we'll give um, a bigger distance here and send it the other direction. Mirroring works the same in, in um, sheet metal as it does in um, in uh, solid models as well. So, oh, let's mirror these around this plane and we'll just mirror the entire pattern. There's the preview over here on this side. Looks pretty good. See, I also want to put a, a little grip on the side of my sheet metal and that's another form tool so we can actually make it easier for the user to pull this cover off the design. So I have a little indented grip again, just real quick. It's, you know, it's just a solid model. We're going to form metal around that to use it. Drag it in. It's actually rotated correctly, right? That looks good. You could flip it if it needed to go the other way. And position. I don't need any additional um, grips. I just want to use the dimension tool to to find where it's located. We'll make this uh, 25 down from here and from the front. Maybe 20. Okay. And let's mirror that around to the other side as well. Make sure we uh, select the right kind of thing that we want to mirror. There it is.